Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today to something very different. In today's video, we're going to be learning how to code Minecraft. Now this was posted on Mojang.com and I thought we'd give this a try with you guys. Basically, it's to encourage kids into coding, but not just kids. It works for anyone because I'm 23 and I don't know anything about coding. So if you really are interested in coding, then this is definitely something you should check out. So the article will be in the description along with the link to this page. And it just says here, got spare time, try out our hour of coding 2016 edition, make your own Minecraft. So I've had a little bit of a mess around with this, but I kind of wanted to share it with you. Now technically it says it takes one hour. I probably won't have time to do the full hour, which is where you guys can take over and have some fun. So you can choose between Steve or Alex, I'm a boy. So I'm gonna go Steve. Now first thing is I'm gonna get rid of this because we're gonna start over from the beginning. I've done the first two. I haven't done anything past this. So first thing you need to know is this is our Minecraft, okay? This is our Minecraft today. Who knows if Jeb or the developers use this type of system, but we're gonna be testing it today. So if I quick run, as you guys can see, we failed. So basically what we have to do here is get Steve to jump to, to say hello to the sheep. It gets harder as it goes along up here, by the way. So, move forward, move forward, let's run it. And that's a successful sound. So basically, this is what we did. Um, I wanna continue, but before we do continue here, let me just go back to number one, because you can learn the coding itself. So that's what it looks like for us, move forward, moves forward, but when it comes to a developer, if you show the code, this is what the code looks like. Now for the people who play Minecraft Pocket Edition, you've seen similar coding to this in the JSON files. I think they're very slightly different, um, but this is what coding looks like behind the game. So when you play a game, whether it be Minecraft, this is what it looks like behind the system, which is, it's absolutely insane. I really wish I could code. It's one thing I really wish I did as a, as a, as a younger person. So if you are interested in games and wanna code, I recommend starting as a younger age. Anyway, moving on to the second one. So the second one says, wood is a very important resource. Many things are made from it. Walk to the tree and use the destroy block command to chop it down. So I wanna get rid of all of this and all of this. I'm gonna start off, from, so we have to get Steve one, two, and then chop. So, move, move, destroy block, let's run it. And there we go, we did this one as well. So I haven't gone past this one, so the next ones are gonna be new. So it says, puzzle two complete, congratulations. Uh, you just wrote three lines of code, all time total, 12, 12 lines of code. You can show the code, which is the one we've just done. So that's the one we just done. And let's continue to number three. So number three says, sheep shearing time, use the shear command to gather wool from both sheep. Okay, so we're gonna have to go one, two, then turn right and go and shave this guy. Okay, so move forward, move forward. It's a right turn, forward, Oh no, oh no, okay, I did that wrong. I did it wrong. It's move forward, move forward, then shear, then turn right, move forward, and shear. I think this is correct. That's one done. That's two done, we got it right. Okay, this is, this is really fun. This is, I, I'm enjoying this, and I hope you guys are too. Uh, let's show the code. So this is what the code looks like. Move forward, move forward, shear, turn right, move forward, shear. I'm really interested if any of the developers or anyone who codes watching, I wanna know why is there a space between every single one? I'm kinda curious about that. Let's continue anyway. Let's go to number four. Number four says, we need to build a house before the sun goes down. Houses require a lot of wood. Cut down all three trees. Okay then, okay then. So apparently it says, okay, so apparently this is showing us what we got. To, oh, okay, so we run this one real quick. Aha, okay, that makes sense. I did that on purpose, by the way. Okay, so they've actually introduced the basic commands already. So we're already here. Um, we've just turned right, we've moved here, so we need to go one, two, and I think break. So move forward, move forward, and then destroy. I think that's what it is. Hopefully you get this right. We got it right. Oh no, we didn't, we did I forgot about this one. Okay, that's... That's my fault. Okay, okay. Uh, reset that one. Okay, we, we, we've destroyed this one, so we need to turn left. Move forward, which is one, two, three, and break. So one, two, three, 
and then destroy block, which is break. Hopefully this is correct. Fingers crossed I got this right. I don't want to mess up here. Oh, we got it right. Okay, that's good. <laughs> it's it's like a it's like a, it is the, literally a puzzle. It's like a puzzle game here. Okay, so this is the coding for this one. So the coding itself is getting a little bit. It's getting a little bit more um, difficult by dragging and placing blocks in this puzzle. You've created a set of instructions in a computer language called JavaScript. This code tells computers what to display on the screen. Everything you see and do in Minecraft also starts with lines of computer code like these. Okay, then let's continue. So moving on to number five. Oh, we got a video here. I'm Lydia Winters, Moying's brand director, and we made a little game called Minecraft. Okay, we don't need to watch this. Let's continue on. Okay. Every house starts with a wall. Build the first part of your house by putting the place and move forward command inside the repeat loop. So I'm guessing this is the repeat loop. So we need to put it inside of here. So it says here, put the place... Put the place, wait, place. Oh, okay, put the place one. Okay, so we need to place whatever color we want. So maybe we wanted to do this. Um, and then we need to move forward. So I think this is, I think this is right. Nope. Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be difficult for me. Um, place your blocks on the dirt outlined by the build the pink repeat. Okay, so this is gonna be this is gonna be different. I I've not done this. I've not got this far. So this is where things become a little bit difficult. Every house starts with a wall. Build your first part of your house by putting the place and forward move forward commands inside. So I have to put them both inside of there. Oh, okay. Wait. Maybe I have to do this one. Okay, well, I think I got it. I think I know what I got to do here. I think I'm going to do this and then place them. Let's try this. Nope. <laughs> okay, what am I doing wrong? Uh, move forward. Okay, so I think I might have got this one. I don't know if this is right. I don't think this is meant to be the same way you're meant to do it, but this is what I've kind of figured out in a way. I got it right. Okay, I did get it right. But it says workspace nine slash four blocks. I think I just did it wrong. Okay, this this one's a little bit difficult. Now I guess into the more interesting things. Even I'm struggling with this. Okay, next one. Uh, choose the floor plan of your house. For now, we'll just stick to. You know what? We'll stick to. We'll go. I'm sticking to easy. Okay, I suck. I'll let you guys do the difficult ones. This is where it says build the rest of your house for any material you'd like. The repeat command will come in handy. Okay, so. We need to turn right, yes. Oh wait, let's just see where this, oh okay, it's already done it. And then, and then we turn right. Okay, this kind of makes sense now. So we've changed the wood, I wanna keep it all oak. So let's, let's, let's reset that one, let's reset that one. So when we get here, we need to turn right again. So we've turned right and then we do exactly what we've done here. So we need to go to repeat. Move forward, and I think what I did wrong in the last one is I was meant to put these both in here, and I didn't do that last time. So, just to go and correct myself real quick before we go into that, what I was meant to do is, that was meant to go in here, um, like this. Let's just double check. Now it makes sense. <laughs> okay, it makes a lot more sense now. Apart from that last one, I wasn't meant to do that bit. Uh, okay. I made this so much more difficult than it should have been. So basically that didn't need to be in there, I don't think. I think it was just, um, okay. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Let it go with me, it's probably not the best thing. Okay, we're, we're gonna continue this one. Okay, so, it's meant to go in here. Um, I don't wanna do a birch, I wanna keep it oak. I wanna keep it all the same. So that's gonna be oak. We're gonna turn right and we need to do exactly the same there again. So let's put this in here. We're gonna go to move forward, place this, does it go in there? But it needs to go underneath. That's the wrong way. Let's get rid of that. It needs to go to move forward, place, and but it needs to be this. And I think we need to do turn right. So if we turn right, then we need to do exactly the same one more time. So this, move forward, place these as oak. Let's test. We 
We got it right. We made our house. We made our very first coding. I'm so pleased with myself. Just ignore me. I'm, I'm happy with this, though. We got it done. We did it. Okay. You just wrote 11 lines of code. All time total 54. So this is what we just did. This is what we just simply coded right there, which to me still makes no sense, but it does make sense. When you can do it this way, it, it makes so much more sense. It, it seems so much more easier. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's continue because I'm having fun here. Um, it's, it's good to plan ahead. Plant crops on both sides of the water so you don't get hungry later on. Okay, so we need to go all the way up, right, turn two, right, go. Okay, when run, uh, move forward and plant crops. I think it's this one. Let's just test this real quick. Nope, I did that wrong. It needs to be plant, move forward. It needs to be the opposite way around. Okay. Okay, we got it. So instead of move forward, it's plant crops and move forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six times. I think that's right. Let's just reset this and test. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, move forward, turn right. Okay, so now we need to turn right. Then move forward, move forward, turn right. Which means we're facing this way, which now we need to repeat this. So it's gonna go like this. I think, wait a second. Let's just get, wait, let's not get too carried away. Let's just do these a bit at a bit, a bit at a time. I'm testing this time by time. Poor little sheep. Okay, so now we're here, which means, actually, let's get rid of the right turn. Let's move forward. Turn right. Move forward. Turn left. Shear. I'm going past the workspace, but I think we can do this one. Um, then I'm going to turn right, right, move forward, left turn, and then we need to do this. I think this is correct. I'm testing this. I don't know how right this is going to be, but we're going to try this. Should we try this? Here we go. Wait, did I? Yeah, let's see this. Let's try this, guys. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. I missed the shear on the left, though. We did it! <laughs> I actually did it! I think I used more coding than I need to, and I think that's the problem that I'm gonna have. If I do learn to code, I think it's the coding that I'm gonna have some issues with. Uh-oh! Running into a creeper is a bad idea. Carefully move past the creepers and reach the safety of your home. All right, then. Shall we, shall we go this way for a change, then, and go that way? All right, so let's go one, two, three, four. So let's go forward. Run, 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 running, go move forward. But four times. So one, two, three, four. Turn left. Then repeat the next thing, which is going to be move forward. One, two, three, four. So move forward, but four times, which is there. Turn left again. And we're going to go one, two which is move forward, and then it's going to be turn right, and then move forward. Run! You meant to run, he's not running good. We did it! We did it, we did it, we did it. Alright guys, I could be here for hours messing around with this, but I'm going to let you guys test this out for yourself. So the next one here is to do a little bit of mining. This is fun, okay? I got to nine, so you've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 to do, up to 14 to do. But if you did enjoy this and you wanna see maybe a part two of me doing this, then be sure to thumbs it up, have a great day, and I'll catch you next time.